Yeah, I yeah the this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm kind of losing steam here, guys. Another failure. These pawns can no longer serve my purposes. Power must be held in my own hands to truly be attained. Suck the drink. Where are we? Further from the mountain than we started, that's for sure. I feel like I've seen this place before. <sighs> At last, you stand before me without escape. This is not your world, and you should not be in it. What was once won must be won once again. You must be turned to nothing. Little one, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, love. Now I'm sure I've seen this room before. If you're still trying to go to help Bayonetta, I might know the shortcut. Oh? I'm remembering. What I really am. Time's almost up. Bayonetta, you better start creating miracles. think they've sent a welcoming party. So I'm a terrible LP, -er, but uh, yeah, this design's really neat. It kind of reminds me of some enemies in like Wonderful 101 actually for some reason. Hmm. I think it's a skull. Yeah, probably, I mean. Oh, those eyes, what the hell. There's eyes everywhere. At least they didn't do faces because it's a demon. Oh, and the eyes have tentacles. This is not okay. <laughs> Why did it have to be tentacles? I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a giant stingray manta ray with randomly placed eyeballs that are also tentacles. It's pretty gross, yeah. That's why this design is pretty neat. But yeah, this is a boss fight, and it's pretty great, but when you sort of layer so many bosses next to each other, it becomes sort of like, well, I'm getting... Too much of the climax here, Hashimoto. I want to sort of calm down a little bit. I don't know. I also don't get the point of this attack here. It's like literally just dodge the mines. Also, you really can't actually move in this state, so I don't know what the hell they want me to do here. Was it on a timer or is it... Yeah, it'd be on a timer in this kind of game. I was about yeah. to say it might just be like an instance of damage thresholding where they... W just in case you find, like, people find some way of killing this boss in, like, three seconds flat. <laughs> oh. I haven't figured out a way to do that, but the answer for most big enemies usually is the scythe weapon. The scythe weapon is best for that. Mm. So fuck that. I don't know what the hell you call that vortex of, like, tentacles, because that attack that it, that it does there is really hard to dodge for some reason. Hmm. And it looks like it just forces you away even if you do dodge it. Yeah, so you have to snake within closer and stuff. Also, this always happens. It's kind of annoying. You can't get away from it. But you can't get hurt by it. I don't know. The skull opens the wrong way. Great. And the, the eye is on like a, a cord now and everything. Yes. 
just has really stretchy retinas. Oh yeah? And the eyeball <laughs> has teeth! <laughs> yes. You know, you give this boss a different sh color of paint and I'd be surprised if we didn't come in a Giga novel. <laughs> oh, this is so weird but cool at the same it is time. It's pretty great. I love this. I don't know why Glamour had to be such like a wet towel compared to everyone else. Rip that shit. Hell yeah! Yes! Oh, so wait, that one wasn't actually an eye? Oh, no. Why no, they were both eyes, but for some reason that one, the one is always, you know, ripped out like that. Wait, where'd the other laser come from? Wait, I don't- I'm losing- No, 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 no okay, no. So, Insidious shot one laser, and Loki shot the other laser. Oh, okay. Obviously. Why- wait, he's been able to shoot lasers this whole time? Well, we're riding on this sort of weird- uh, it's called the Ark, which is what the title of this- chapter is, that thing there, and he shot a laser out of it. Oh, okay. Because mystical powers, man. So yeah, that boss is pretty great. And now we are inside said boss. And where we get gross monster boss organs. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay. If there was more lava and hellfire, I'd be getting some really bad DMC3 flashbacks right now. No, luckily there's no environmental damage you can take. And, oh, actually there is, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? And blood. Anyway, if we destroy this thing here... We get this nice little callback. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice touch. It, it's pretty nice. So, I guess, because with this game where you're not just hanging around in uh, Paradiso anymore, you're hanging around in Inferno and stuff. So, they, I guess they had to sort of flesh out this sort of world a little bit more. Hence the whole orbs thing. DMC4, whatever. Yeah. Uh, thank God you don't actually have to collect orbs to get, you know... Triple S or whatever. I, like, I'm expecting a few things to happen r right about now, but I'm not sure if they actually will. A criticism I'd have is of these enemies is that they all sound the same when they telegraph their attacks. That sound there, that ching sound, it's always going to be that sound and it's never going to be anything else. Hmm. <clears throat> there was like a post on the blog that talks about you know, the design of that sound and how it wanted to be kind of mechanical, etc, etc, whatever. But it's kind of terrible when it's just really boring. <sighs> And yeah, demon enemies are a bit more of a bitch to fight. That was different and really cool, what the heck? Yes, I love the fact that she shoots, like, what is it, seven or eight bullets in the shape of a heart. It's awesome. I, I wonder, if you, if you go up to the barriers in these sections, do the barriers fight back? I don't know. Hmm. I don't think they do. I don't know. Now, now I'm expecting. Well. Now, I'm, now I'm all of a sudden expecting this to actually be DMC. <laughs> These guys don't get an introduction for some reason, but they're called Furies. They just fly around. They annoy you, and they shoot those purple orbs. Which, if they hit you, they will slow you down. You don't actually lose health by getting hit by them, so there's no reason that you can get hit by them and not have to restart or whatever. Hmm. Words, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm pretty sure people got the gist of that. <laughs> uh, the, I just realized how weird the shine on the walls of all the flesh is. Seems that sort of glistening, fleshy feel, you know. Yeah, but there's way too much unnatural light for it to be... I, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just really unsettling. <laughs> well, good job, Platinum Games. Too too much too much ambient light for internal organs, even though they've got the weird crystal-y bits. Fire. 
so these enemies have a state where you can uh, push them into the ground like you could with the centaurs. You know how the centaurs you can uh, push them into the ground and you can slap their ass a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. You can do that for these enemies too, but for some reason there is no sort of punish attack for it. You can do it, but I don't know. There's no follow up to it. So it's kind of like. Can you, I forgot? Like, can you launch from that state? When they're in the ground? Yeah, yeah. Well, like when they're stunned and whatever. Yeah, when they're stunned, but enemies in this game don't really get stunned, and even if they are stunned, you cannot just uh, combo on them like crazy like you could in the original. They right. still have weight and stuff. Also, <laughs> <coughs> unfortunately, I won't be using these too often, but they are pretty sweet. There is, of course, a Chivo for killing, I think, 20 enemies with torture attacks. 20 demons, rather. Well, I mean, what's the difference in combo score if you finish an entire combo string, like... Say, for instance, you're doing a verse and the last hit winds up being a torture attack versus just comboing them out. Uh, well, if you mash the button enough, you'll probably get more for, more combo points for it than if you just finished it, finished the combo string. Mm. Which is the main reason why you would use a, a torture attack. Plus, there was the added benefit of it giving you, like, really sweet angel or demon weapons. But this game, as I said, kind of completely nerfed them, so there's no point to using them, really, unfortunately. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's another boss coming up, so, yeah. Little one! If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were the most persistent stalker I've met yet. <laughs> And here I thought I was your type. I guess I had you all wrong. Step away, Umbra Witch. This is not your fight. Actually, it is. Smash it! So that attack's new. Uh, you can't interrupt him at all for some reason. Like, even in which time you can't interrupt the attack. Whoa! And now you can summon Teperantia to do that. And he also has that attack there, which I don't think I get hit by, or maybe I did, but it causes you to get slowed down. I thought it was like the start, like a weird, really like elongated tell for a stinger attack or something. Nah, he's only got the... Actually, no, he's got two kinds of stinger attacks. <coughs> he's got that one, and he's got another one which kind of is like a, I'll jump back and then stinger you kind of attack. And that one is also a little bit hard to read, but less bullshit. Anyway, I don't use any other weapons fighting this guy because, as you can see, uh, Love is Blue stuns him a lot. And you don't really get that with the other weapons. Plus there's the added benefit of it never breaking your combo, hopefully. Right. So I only- I probably pretty much only ever use uh, the guns on him. At least if you're playing in your new game. There are better weapons later in the game that you can use, and they're much, 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 much better. Are you ready for the hype to be increased? We're doing another robot fight? Oh, this is different. What the hell is that thing? Uh, I guess it's a woman with snakes for hair. She's called Hydra. Oh. Well, at least the name kind of makes sense. Blood! Yes, a sea of blood everywhere. I don't know where the blood came from, but uh, Insidious is hemorrhaging very badly. <laughs> I don't know, with this much blood, it almost feels wrong to call it a hemorrhage. It just has become blood. Yeah. At least the benefit in this one is that the background is not nearly as distracting as the uh, Fortichido and Labalas fight in the previous fight. Or even the other background noise that was happening in the previous fight. 
Well, I mean, the other plus is you actually have camera control. Yeah. The only issue is, uh, earlier in the fight, if you stick around the edges of the arena, uh, there are pillars that can obscure your view, and they don't get, like, you know, see-through. Yeah. It's a bit annoying. Also, for some reason, after a certain point, you get into, like, this weird witch time mode. I don't know why, and sometimes his attacks disappear. Which is kind of bad, because you don't know when to dodge, and sometimes you can get hit by it. Where so they- I have oh, there we go. Yeah, I have zero qualms about using Pulley's Butterfly for this shit. Mm -hmm. I believe I actually recorded this Pure Platinum twice. I don't remember why I didn't keep it, possibly because my recording is well. Oh but boy, I haven't I actually talked pillars. about how this game changes like the save system. So what this game allows you to do basically is to make save copies of save save points. So there is a save point that is created, say for example, after every single uh, Muspelheim. Right. So once you exit the Muspelheim, you can exit out and create a copy of that save. And then you can infinitely retry this fight until you get it pure platinum. And you can do that for any bit that you will need to. The, the checkpoint system in this game isn't great, but you can definitely manipulate it the way you want to use it. And it actually made recording this game pure platinum-wise a whole lot easier. I am ashamed to say I used it. Yeah. But that fight is also really hard to pure platinum, mainly because of the time limit, again. And to a lesser extent, the combo limit as well. Didn't think I'd miss a good fight, did you? So really, pure platinum doesn't really mean much in this game, but I still do it anyway. Because if I didn't do it, what kind of a pure, what kind of a platinum game LP would this be? Gotta go for that completionist tag on LP Archive, gotta earn it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Must do everything. And we get a billion cards for meeting all these different demons. Holy crap, yeah, it's not stopping! Oh, there we go. Alright, never mind. So, you can actually fail this QTE, surprisingly. I, f I learned this the hard way, surprisingly. <laughs> It's not this one, it's the next one. Like, I thought at this point, oh yeah, I can just leave it down and just, you know, go away and get a drink. No, you actually have to mash this QTE, because if you don't... Loki dies? You will die. You will die or Loki dies? Everyone dies. Oh. Oh, okay. It's very unceremonious, but okay. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Does it give you Loki's dead? No, it doesn't no. even give you a dead body. We couldn't have both of them lying together dead, apparently. <laughs> well, it looks like the only person that died was Loki, so... True. That's a real shame. 